Ooh, circular slices of economy. Right everyone, it's a little bit later tonight, so it's now coming up 9pm and I thought, do you know what? I have loads of kebabs in the fridge and the freezer and these were all bought the other day because you lot told me to pick them up whether it was in home bargains or heron foods now i picked several up so i'm going to rate three different ones i'm going to see which one's the best so if you're watching this now for the love of kebab the famous donna kebab share the post now so the first one i'm going to try and to be honest they look rank absolutely rank so the first one you actually get two in the box and this one was from heron foods it's frozen, it only takes a couple of minutes in the microwave, but inside you actually already get some onions inside, so you get a pit of bread, donna meat, and onions. So this is the box, and this is Speedy Chef, finest frozen foods by Speedy Chef, Mediterranean style recipe, um, two donna kebabs, two pit of breads filled with delicious lamb donna meat, cabbage, and onions. There's actually cabbage frozen cabbage in there so this is what i'm using now and this is what it looks like when it comes out the microwave you know the the meat's already in there there's cabbage and onion inside the pitta this came from frozen two in a pack and it took a couple of minutes to warm up in the microwave there she is let's see what the donna meat looks like like a turd <laughs> oh anyway there's the donna meat, looks quite thick. Um, you've got the cabbage and onion inside. I'm definitely not looking forward to this, you know. I like I like a proper Turkish kebab, you know, when I'm in Turkey. Um, I do like shawarmas, I like a nice shawarma from the, either the Turkish or the Kurdish takeaways. And I can imagine this is gonna be an insult to any Turkish out there, so I'm so sorry. It is a frozen kebab. Let's dig in. Right, surprisingly, that's not that bad. That isn't that bad, you know. Look at that. There's a fair bit of donna meat in there. Each donna meat is its own piece. It's got cabbage, it's got onion. The onion and the cabbage definitely add some flavour to it. The fact it's already packed, that is surprising. You know, if I had a bit of lettuce, cucumber and garlic sauce, that's not that bad. I am surprised at that. Mmm. That is good. Two, oh, I can't believe that is one of the biggest surprises I've ever had. So, these two Donna Kebabs from Heron Foods in the freezer section. Yeah, 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 yeah. Recommended. Microwave in minutes, it says on the box. There we are, there's the first one. Whoa. Out of microwave kebabs rating, no, I'm not talking about fancy restaurants, good quality food. Out of kebab rating, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with a five, a five. It's a frozen kebab and to get a five, I think it's pretty good. Um, let me know what you think. The second one I've got tonight is this bad boy. So I've already had the first one. This is the second one. Proper frozen kebab wars. And this is Snacksters Eastern Grill Classic Donna Kebab. Spiced Donna meat served with a soft flatbread and sachets of chili sauce and garlic. Now this one, when I show you this, doesn't look good. Doesn't look good at all. Look at this. So if I show you the slices of donna in the first one, actually look like singly sliced donna meat. This one, what is that? Oh, circular slices of donna meat. There's three circular slices in there. Whoa. Ah, it's got a, a pit of bread with it, you know, let's go with it. It's been in the microwave. It's got circular 
Donomy. Have you ever seen Circular Donomy? Put it in the comments, let me know. And now I'm gonna try this, so you don't have to. Right, so this lacks any, any real flavor. Um, there's a hint of the classic Don kebab taste, like a hint of it, uh, but it's bad, it's bad. The Don meat is very soft like a hot dog. It doesn't compare at all to this one. So, so far I think we've got a clear winner. I'd have to give that a 1.5, 1.5 out of 10 for this range. Um, Snacks' Eastern Grill, where you get one of them in, straight in the mic, done, not the best, 1.5 out of 10. So, still in the lead is this one, where you get two in a pack, scoring, I think I said five out of 10 for that one. Now the third one, the third and final one for Kebab Wars, is this one, which isn't frozen, and this came in a packet that you put in the microwave, you take it out the pack, you put it in the microwave, and this was from Home Bargains. So those two were from Heron Foods, they had two different options. Then we've got this one from Home Bargains. This is Snacksters again. In fact, Snacksters have done us over here. We have, <laughs> we have frozen Snacksters. Not frozen snacksters, snacksters, and I think they're both exactly the same. So let's take a look. We've got the pit of bread, and inside there is the three slices of circular. Oh, these aren't circular, these are half circles. So instead of three full circles, you get four semicircles, but it looks exactly the same except they've cut the kebab. Yeah, I can't imagine this being any different. You've got the little grill marks on the pita bread. Here we go. Exactly the same. Exactly the same as this one. Snacksters, I didn't realize they were both snacksters. One's frozen, one's not frozen. Neither one of them are any good. 1.5 out of 10. Both of the snacksters, so the winner of Kebab Wars tonight is this one from Heron Foods. If you're watching now, share the post, tag Heron Foods in this. And this is Finest Frozen Food by Speedy Chef. Bought in Heron Foods, you get two of them. The onion and the white cabbage is already in there. Look at that. You know, it is what it is. It's a frozen kebab. Cheers for watching everyone, that's Kebab Wars. And I think we've got a clear winner. See you all tomorrow.